Okay, so this anime has completely changed my view of zombies. Like, I used to have a small fear of zombies, a small one, because oh, I, I always keep it at the back of my mind, zombies are not real. But I still will be scared if a zombie actually appeared in front of me. But now, even if I were to die to one, I, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine now. This, this anime kind of changed this view. I'm good. Because last time, before I started, uh, bef before I developed this small fear out of morbid curiosity, I will watch uh, Resident Evil gameplays and then uh, eventually creep myself out for no apparent reason. But no more! No more! This is... This... The zombie? They can kill me on it one. I, I don't care. I, I will join the zombie too, if, 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 if anything. The main, re the main lesson I learned from this anime is... <laughs> I know that I'm, I, sh I should be saying this towards the end of the video, but um, basically is to focus on something else and prioritize everything that happened in life. And so, um, let's just start on the plot of Zom 100. Honestly, I like how I uh, did not introduce the anime at all before <laughs> saying starting on the plot. This is the first time that's ever happened, but okay. Yes, the anime that changed my view of zombies is Zomb 100. And so now we go to the plot, my bad. Yeah, so Zomb 100 has starts off with this uh, guy who got into this company. It looks like a very nice company. He met a very beautiful lady, which I too find very hot. And to his dismay, this company works you to the bone. You work overtime, you work overnight, over and over again. You get ch uh, shit, shit by your superior, and then only to realize that the very hot lady you met, uh, yeah, she's actually doing the thing with the boss. It's literally NTR. Uh, if you do not know what's NTR, please do not search it up. Um, it's better to not know. Okay, so yeah, quite sad. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, right? I when I saw the that that woman, right? She was quite hot. I kind of. So, something turned on. So I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a uh, they they actually made her look really good. But all of that doesn't matter now because a zombie apocalypse actually happened in that life in this guy's life, and so instead of being scared and all, his mind has been so fixated on work to the point where he switched up as to because of this zombie apocalypse, I do not have to go work. Thus is free. So yes, I also have learned to do the same thing. If a zombie apocalypse were to come, means I can die. I, I can straight up just die. <laughs> then I don't have to I don't have to suffer anymore. It, this is fine. This is fine. This is just fine. <laughs> or or in, in a in a better way to put it, I don't have to go for NS. I don't have to go for university. I don't have to continue school. Oh my god. Uh, the main thing of Zom 100 is that you... This, this guy meets a few people, his best friend, uh, who is basically one of the Kill La Kill... Eh, no, no, uh, one of the Fire Force characters. Uh, you know, instead of a woman, this time it's a guy, where the clothes just comes off naturally. <laughs> yeah, he's very good for comedic relief. He meets best girl, and then there's also another best girl. Uh, a blonde one this time and then uh, the main gist of this anime is a hundred things I want to do before I turn into a zombie and it also creates this huge contrast because one of the other goals in this anime is a hundred things I want to do to not become a zombie so there's a very nice contrast in this anime for season one that is uh, I've read the manga so I already know where, where, where it all leads to kind of. and uh, yeah it's quite nice it's really nice Animation is really good. Story is okay though. I, after reading the manga, I would say the story is okay. The characters are very... It, they all have the basic character type, but there's character development and there's also a lot of emotional attachment to them because you don't want them to turn into a zombie. And there's also a lot of... Uh, what is it? Tension. Yes. It, it's a comedy, but it also kind of feels like a thriller. Remember how I said there was this very hot girl that uh, the main character met? Yeah, um, the hot girl unfortunately turns into a zombie. Uh, this is not a spoiler, it's on season, it's on episode 1. 
And so, is it worth it to hit that zombus? The main character confesses to the zombie. <laughs> he comes to the zombie. The zombie starts chasing him, but he's not like scared. He's just happy that he managed to confess to the girl he likes. And I'm on honestly proud for him. And it there's this tension because you the character is like so not focusing on dying. But just like doing whatever he wants. So it makes this tension as to oh my god, this guy is so clueless, he can probably die any single time. But he somehow manages to just go through life like this. And so I'm gonna take the same advice from him. I'm probably gonna die in a zombie apocalypse if there were to ever happen one. But it's okay because I die without any regrets. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah, overall, this whole anime has been very entertaining, really nice. FYI, I found the anime quite a few days ago i watched the, i watched finished the anime in one day and then i read the manga in the in the next day after like I mean, straight up finished the whole manga up to date at least the, the manga is not finished overall i want to give this anime a 10 out of 10 honestly i'll give this anime a 10 of 10 but for the manga i'll give the manga a 9 out of 10 so now here's the flaw though because i did say that the plot was okay okay because I read the manga. Somewhere halfway throughout through the manga, you realize that it's kind of the same trope. Which is friends go for a certain goal they want to do before they become a zombie. They almost achieve the goal, zombies come in, they escape, they make miraculously attain the goal done that's it so yeah and also i feel like uh in the manga there's later on there's like a bit more plot armor kicking in where like it's lesser infected people because in the anime you have a lot of danger at the start at the start there's a lot of people dying here and there left and right but then as when you read the manga and you continue for onwards it just gets quite stereotypical you know they are surviving for sure they'll make it close but then they are surviving yeah they they it's a hundred percent a survival chance so yeah that's the sad part about the manga but for now the anime i feel like maybe because of the music and the animation it they managed to keep you entertained so far and the worst part about the anime is that it's only stuck on episode 9 on an indefinite hiatus as we all know for all you ZOM 100 enjoyers so uh yeah there's nothing much you can do only to wait therefore i read the manga i will say season 1 season 1 will be solid the whole of season 1 trust me it'll be solid to the end of season 1 i think that's where it ends it's good shit it's freaking freaking good so yeah uh but towards the end not not so much uh right now the manga should be on season three of the anime i'm expecting it to end on a season four or five in anime i think hopefully they don't drag it too long uh they j just don't pull a rent a girlfriend and it should be fine i think season two will be a bit lackluster here and there unless if the directors actually do make it really well then good for them now there's one very last thing i want to talk about and that is the main character the main character is a little bit shallow but i feel like he is a combination of tadano from komi can communicate and deku from boku no hero <laughs> now you see why um here's an image for a reference this just straight up looks like De deku at this point he has the eyes of Deku, the, no, uh, he has the attitude of Deku but the face of Tadano and the attitude of Tadano too. So it kind of blends in both. But then again, it's almost the generic main character trope, I guess. But yeah, you kind of, to summarize the main character, it's Tadano got reincarnated into a horrible work life after that gets a zombie apocalypse and becomes Deku. And uh, yeah, that's it for this anime review. Uh, anime slash manga. Overall, just a banger anime. Banger manga still. Manga is 9 out of 10 because it still was pretty good. It was still pretty good. In the, like com It's a comedy too. And it did its comedy well, I feel. Okay, then again, my sense of humor is kind of broken. So, uh, comedy subjective. <laughs> so yeah, uh, for y'all who have watched ZOM 100, 
Tell me what you think. Tell me what you, how long you will think uh, the indefinite hiatus should take. My worst bet is a year, honestly. I think they might just postpone it for a year for three more episodes. But we'll see how this goes. I will eagerly wait. This is a breath of fresh air. Like, I know I just reviewed Cyberpunk, but this one was also almost on par with Cyberpunk. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. I said video three times. Next. Recorded. Tape. Bye.